Hey, Rory Singh here from the PowerhouseMarketer.com. Today we're going to talk about Mirror Trading International and the saga continues. Kind of reminds me of um, Vampire Diaries episode for some reason. Okay. And this gentleman here, Johan. Johan Steinberg, CEO and founder since January 21st. Seems to be missing in action? Question mark? Anyways, today we're going to talk about a bunch of issues here. 1,200 Bitcoin. 1,200 Bitcoin recovered from Mirror Trading International. Are any of the victims going to get any of that crypto? So that's what we're going to find out here in this big uh, liquidation event by uh, the security regulators in south africa mate anyways before i get into this mirror trading international update and liquidation event bitcoin liquidation event if this is your first time on this channel find the big red button subscribe and even click on the bell notification icon that way every single time i go live with new helpful information you'll be one of the very first people to get access to that freshly created content also, if you're looking for a legitimate way to make money online, powerful affiliate marketing educational platform underneath this video, first link in the description, get access to a legitimate company set up in the U.S. where the laws are strict with a real company owner, real founder, very well known in this industry. And what's even more important than all of the training that you can get access to, very lucrative compensation plan as an affiliate if you decide to become an affiliate. Of course, we do get a lot of customers who just get on board um, for the product. So lots of retail as well. So legitimate, lucrative affiliate marketing opportunity. Many people have already fired their boss with the powerful system underneath this video. First link in the description. You know, guys, um, in this uh, MLM underbelly world, the only people who actually make money with systems like Mirror Trading International and Cubit Tech and Wiseling before they scammed out and Barax before they scammed out, aside from the owners, most of them who are anonymously owned, right? Most of them hire like fake CEO paid actors like this guy here, Johan. Johan is probably his real name, but I'm thinking he's now being uh, sought out by. Uh, the authorities worldwide, whatever they paid him to pretend they, he's the main guy behind the deal. Um, anyways, besides all of that, the, the main people that make money besides the owners are the top recruiters. And most people don't even know how to get people to actually click on your affiliate links. If you're trying to promote these type of deals, I don't recommend you promote anything uh, that's not real, right? Uh, I recommend you promote legitimate stuff so you can actually have a chance to actually create your freedom. It, you know, entrepreneurship, it takes some doing. It's not like you push a button and you get rich quick overnight. That just does not exist, no matter how bad we want that. But the only people that make money online, guys, are the people who know how to, you know, get people to click on their links. And the sale happens. Here's a quick nugget before I get into Mirror Trading International and the liquidation event of 1,200 Bitcoins. With affiliate marketing, the sale happens, or even with a Ponzi, the sale happens before anyone clicks on your link. And it all comes down to energy for energy. A lot of people don't understand this. You can make money online if you know what you're doing, promote legit stuff so you can give the people that you're getting into the deal a chance, right? And then you'll do better. If you promote something that only you think you're gonna do well, consciously, and at the unconscious level, you think most people are going to get screwed over then you're not going to do well right so energy for energy so you need to learn these things anyway so let's get into mirror trading international this is clinton marks and this is clinton marks and sherry marks apparently the owners of mirror trading international i believe they were behind another deal called BTC Global Team, didn't they have like the fake CEO that looked like the guy from Bend It, like Beckham, that was the movie, uh, David Beckham, Stephen Twain, fake identity, picture, no, no, everyone wanted to believe it, 
in South Africa, mate. And a whole bunch of people got on board, lost majority of the money or the crypto. <coughs> These guys made a killing, right? And then they started the whole scheme all over again in a different name called Mary Trading International, right? Different company, different idea, big events. Johan Steinberg, where are you, mate? Where are you? Uh, according to Google, this is what it looks like on the outside. Very pretty property. Very nice area indeed. Every very, 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 very pretty. Very pretty gates. Is that where the admins live? Or is that corporate property? Anyway, all that stuff is not as important as the information I'm going to share with you. Now here, let's get into it. South African authorities have recovered approximately $1,200, sorry, $1,200 worth of Bitcoin. 1,200 Bitcoins. How much is that even, guys? How much is one Bitcoin? Bitcoin's just going up. Convert US to BTC. I don't know, let's just go BTC to USD. Yep. Let's just see what uh, they're claiming here. 59,000. 59,000. <laughs> One Bitcoin is going for approximately 59,000 US dollars. And FSCA is, you know, been investigating the scheme for a while, Mirror Trading International. And according to them, they have recovered approximately approximately 1,200 bitcoins, so that would be pretty well like 60,000 times 1,200 bitcoin. That's a lot, a lot of kaching kaching guys. Okay. Now, apparently there was an account, and there was also an entity called FX Choice, who seemed to be laundering, based on the reports that I've been reading laundering money for Merit Trading International through FX Choice, right? And they had an account for Merit Trading International, a Bitcoin account. Okay. Now, for whatever reason, they dumped MTI or, you know, uh, kicked them to the curb and revealed that b despite all the BS happening, Merit Trading International engaged in very little trading. Who would have thought? Who would... I thought it was all legitimate stuff. I thought that it, they had 100% legitimate trading happening based on all the stuff MTI affiliates kept telling me and investors arguing tooth and nail for like a whole year with me saying, hey, Rory, it's legitimate. It's legitimate. It's it's the holy grail. How could you, Rory Singh, a reviewer, you don't have any integrity. You're just knocking on legitimate stuff. How could you bring our company down like this? Well, I didn't bring your company. Apparently, your company brought itself down. Okay. So, long story short, FSCA still investigating, froze an account through FX Choice. FX Choice is saying they seem to be like kicking Mary Trading International to the curb, saying they hardly ever did any trading. I, I mean, I don't think they ever did any trading, guys. Not, not to pay uh, the investors. The only thing that I'm seeing that ever went into Merit Trading International is network marketing recruitment. Now, the problem with this idea is Merit Trading International kept getting in trouble all across the globe. There was a lady. Um, where the heck is she? There was a lady kept arguing with me about Merit Trading International, right? Let me just click on this for one second. I just want to show you, and then we'll talk more about the 1,200, uh, 1,200 bitcoins. Are you guys going to get this money? Did she remove all of her content? Every time I made a video warning investors not to get scammed with Mary Trading International, she would come and say, hey, Rory, you don't know what you're talking about. You're giving people a load of, oh, there she is, Wendy Nichols lady all the way in uh new york new york new york where it's she's sitting pretty and safe out there in new york city telling getting all of her members and friends and family and anyone who would listen 
to get involved with Mary Trading International. Hey, well. And then come and argue with me here saying, what did she say last time? The KYC has been part of the terms and services since January. We always knew this was coming. This is not all unusual. KYC will have zero effect on any withdrawals. Really? And then she comes back and argues, comes back and argues, comes back and... She removed her other three comments. Looks like I'm talking to myself here. Keep drinking the Kool-Aid, some rocket man, one of my other viewers said. He told her, drink the Kool-Aid. I, 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 she must be drinking something else right now. Anyways, guys, let's get back into Mirror Trading International. So, <clears throat> what's going to go down here? Okay. So they haven't given any concrete evidence, meaning the FSCA. They're claiming that they are going to put into works a plan to effectively distribute that amount. But there is going to be a lot of auditing. There are going to be a lot of T's that need to be crossed. A lot of I's that need to be dotted. It seems to be a long, drawn-out process. Um, one of my viewers <coughs> came to my... One of my Mirror Trading International reviews, and he said, Hey, Rory in South Africa, mate, um, they have people get murdered, and they're not that strict about that. So, with these Ponzi's, good luck with that. So, basically, uh, uh, one of my viewers who is from South Africa is saying that it's not that strict, and you know, enforcement is very, very slow. So, hopefully, you guys do get back your some of your money because you know uh, collectively company wide affiliates and investors you guys invested more than that so that's just one account right with fx choice and there's a lot more that's being lost now fsca may drag their heels and i'm thinking that you guys are going to get some of that back some of the victims are going to but it's going to be a long drawn out process okay so you're gonna to have to have a lot of patience now for the owners here um some people are saying they're in hiding i don't have any evidence concrete evidence if they are in hiding or if they aren't uh, i'm thinking not much is going to happen they've done this before i'm thinking that uh, they are are so loved by their followers that they're going to start to scheme up all over again and uh start out in a new name start up a new deal maybe get an, a different johan or a different stephen twain and they're going to do it all over again baby and then the south africa i'll do a review on the new deal maybe in a year or so when it comes out and the mirror trade um the new affiliates which are the same old affiliates from mirror trading international and the old affiliates from BTC Global Team are going to come and tell me that I need to do some more due diligence and research. And I don't know what I'm talking about. Just like Wendy uh, Nichols from New York, New York, who's probably going to watch this video. She'll come back and say that it's the holy grail of passive investment systems and it's legitimate and that everyone needs to join and Rory Singh doesn't know what the heck he's talking about. So if I get some more information, I will be sure to share with you guys. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Again, my name is Rory Singh from thepowerhousemarketer.com. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day.